I would say so far that it's clearly looking like I'm prepared for everything and I'm a bit like Mary Poppins and there's probably going to be a lampshade in here that I'm bringing out next. Hi, I'm Eve Dawes. I'm a fashion editor and this is what's in my bag. So obviously I have my phone, which I'm recording on. I normally have my tripod too, which is why I have kind of this size tote bag because it fits a lot of things, which I love about it. Besides that, always have oversized sunglasses. I live in Vegas. It's literally sunny 365 days a year. So I do some very big oversized ones. I tend to normally wear my Chanel just because they give me so much extra coverage. And I do love a bit of Chanel. Next up, my car keys, because I pretty much take these everywhere, even when I'm not driving, because they have things on like my mailbox key for the street, my mailbox store, my lipstick lab keys, the warehouse keys, everything on there, literally my life. So that's why I kind of only have one key ring on there, which is a really just cute heart I got from the dealership. I've tried more, I've tried cute key rings, but when I'm switching to a smaller bag, honestly, I just kind of think small's the way to go, especially when my sunglasses take up so much of the room. This is something pretty much all of my girlfriends and I carry around in our purses. And if you know, you know, is liquid stevia so if I meet my girlfriends for tea coffee this is what I tend to use especially as a lot of like the more gourmet coffee shops don't have the sugar-free syrup so I always have this and I like the plastic for popping my bag when I'm traveling so I'm worried the glass will break so no issues with the plastic and it's tra travel size so TSA approved what fell out of my bag before <laughs> I always have these on me. If my hair is down, up, I always carry a spare hair elastic. One, in case this one breaks. Two, if my hair, when it's down, is just annoying me. So I always have that. I also tend to always have a crocodile grip because sometimes I don't want to put a band in and dent my hair if I've got a big blowout or something. So this kind of is just a bit kinder on the hair. Oh, this is a brilliant product. If you're in the UK or know someone in the UK, Boots Allergy Eye Mist. My sister introduced me to this because I have the most allergic sensitive eyes, which you'll know if you watch any of my beauty videos. But what I like about this as opposed to drops, when I put drops in my eyes, it's just adding more moisture. They end up watering more. This, you spray on closed eyes. So if your makeup's already done, you just spray it and let it go. And I don't know how that works, but it works and it doesn't mess with your makeup. So this game changer, mine's a little gunky because it's been everywhere with me, but I love this stuff. Tissues, I always have so many tissues. I think that's a family trait. There's normally either one up my sleeve, in a pocket, in my dressing gown, wherever they are. Oh, we're a family that carries tissues everywhere. I don't know if that's being a girl guide or what, but when my eyes run, it's good for dabbing around as well. Okay, this I am SBF queen because A, I live in the desert. B, I was really bad to my skin in my teens and my 20s, living in Portugal, living in the Caribbean. I thought carrot oil and SBF2 was really good idea at the time until now and you see all the sun damage on my chest so now i always carry something like this it's soleil toujours spf 30 i kind of flip between my different setting sprays i've tried powders but they tend to cake and settle in the fine lines this smells so good oh and it's just like the finest spray which doesn't leave a white residue which a lot of them can and it's just so refreshing and lovely and it keeps your spf topped up all throughout the day so that is a absolute must have for me. Oh, so talk about nice smelling things. I'm obsessed. I think maybe because we're in Vegas and it's always hot. I always have a miniature perfume with me and this is J'adore. I tend to switch between Dior and the Miss Dior, J'adore or Chanel Number no. 5, Coco Mademoiselle or Penhaligons and Presser. They tend to be my go-tos and I just like the little mini bottles. I think they're much cuter than the kind of little sample sprays. And this is, just, oh, it's one of those perfumes you could wear from day to night, which I really like. And it just smells like you're walking into a really lovely white floral garden. Then I tend to always have some kind of a makeup case with me because normally I'm out and about shooting or I find a good location to shoot and suddenly want to shoot something. So in here I normally have, I'm using right now Healthy Sexy Hair, Soy Renewal Cream Oil. It's an argan oil. And I tend to prefer traveling or going out and about in the day with a cream to slick everything back into place rather than a hairspray. So I'm not choking everyone else out with hairspray and it's just easy to apply it. And I feel like it's more conditioning versus the alcohol in hairsprays drying your hair out. Always have a lip gloss. And of course, it's my cosmetic brand. It's Dawes Custom Cosmetic. This is kind of my go-to shade. I either use Bling Mix or Bora Bora. It's kind of that really pinky, nudey color that works all seasons and is really good for extra hydration. Mine's a bit gunky. And as you can see how much I use it because there's not much left in there. I always have combs and I tend to use one. I break the end off because then it fits in my bag. Otherwise they don't and they're a bit of a weapon because they're really pointed. This is just really easy rather than a big old giant brush. 
if you don't know about triangle sponges, sponges, you need them in your life. Even if I don't have powder with me, I will use these to like just dab everything and it really helps to kind of mattify any shiny areas throughout the day. And it literally airbrushes your skin and they're dead cheap on Amazon. I want to say it's like $6.99 for six. A remote, because I always take my own pictures. Well, most of the time, sometimes my husband will help out. But I like to take my ooh, own pictures and it's just really easy. Bluetooth, small. And I tend to put it in my bag so I don't lose it. I normally have some way. Oh, look, a glue and sticky pressy stickers because I have press on nails. So if they pop off, that's an easy fix. What else do I have in here? Oh, this is my mini powder because it's like so super cute, but also less space in your bag. And that's actually a press powder. So if I need to do touch up in the day, a uh, little double do you. And that's also a mirror. So that works really well. I don't need to carry another mirror around with me. A bronzer because I feel like the bronzer is the thing that goes the quickest anywhere especially if I'm blowing my nose all the time I want to do my contour and this is I have to say it's a big old brush to carry around with me but oh, I love this brush the bristles are amazing on it and then a lip liner because I really like a really crisp lip line and not like a giant one that doesn't match a lipstick but a good a good lip line oh, two more things in here Three more things, I lie. So I have a pen, it's just a really tacky, crappy plastic pen that I feel like I get caught short without one. Tea bag, this is a soothing caramel bedtime. I tend to always fly with these. It's like my saving grace, they're caffeine free. It tastes like dessert, especially when I add my stevia to it. And that's really, really lovely for traveling and just calming down. And then I don't carry a big wallet with me. I carry this as my card holder for my credit cards and ID because then it's easier to transfer from bag to evening clutch or not playing around with different size purses, wallets, whatever you want to call them, all day. And this is Cartier, and it was one of my Christmas presents one year because my husband had my initials initialed in there. Initials initialed in there. That was kind of like oversell, but you know what I mean. So, yeah, that's what's in my bag.